Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's video we're going to be going over how to make a health bar in Roblox Studio. So there is already a health bar built into Roblox Studio, but it is just a small health bar that is displayed somewhere on the player's screen. It could be the top left or top right, I can't actually remember now. But there is a, on default a small health bar already displayed, but sometimes people want to go the extra mile and make it look a little bit better and actually more visible. It's instead of the small little health bar, a quite much larger health bar, so people are able to see, okay, I'm currently at 50% health, okay, let me regen or whatever. But basically, today we're going to be going over how to make a custom health bar. So for starters, you want to make sure that your explorer and properties are enabled. If your explorer and properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view, and enable explorer and properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. Once you've done that, you then want to head over to your starter GUI, click on the plus button and insert a screen GUI. For this, we're gonna be using a number of frames. So we're gonna have our main frame, which actually we're not gonna make a major frame. We're just gonna have our frame here and this is gonna be our health bar. Okay, so here is our first frame and we can call this, let's rename this to background frame. Something, something like that. There we go. We've got our background frame and now obviously you go and adjust it to how you'd like. If you'd like a nice border, you can add a border, it is completely up to you. But this is gonna be a color of red. Now you can go and adjust colors later, but for now I would suggest just get the main base structure done so you can kind of get a little bit of a better understanding on how this is all actually going to work. But basically this is our background color. So basically how this is gonna work is now there's gonna be another frame on top of this background frame and that is gonna be our main health bar. So our health is gonna be indicated in a green color and then our obviously our damage is gonna be in a red color. So the green bar is gonna be on top of here and then when the green bar or when we lose health, then the green bar is gonna move down. So then that, so then the red is visible displaying that our health is not currently at maximum capacity. It's some 50% or 75% or whatever. So we then want to go and click on that plus button and insert another frame and we're going to be calling this our main bar frame. Obviously adjust it to how you want and depending where you want it on the screen you will need to scale it differently. If you need to know how to learn to scale feel free to watch a tutorial I've done on scaling. Link to that will be down in the description. But anyway this is now going to be our main health bar and this is going to kind of be representing what our current health is. So hopefully that there gives you a little bit more of a better understanding but we can actually add a little bit of a UI stroke to add a, to make it look a little bit nicer, you know? So let's have a look here, UI stroke, let's go and increase the thickness to let's say four, and also let's add a UI corner. I mean, this is just me being a little bit picky on what it looks like, but you can go and choose what you would like it to look like also. There we go, and paste that into the, uh, the, the frame there, just like that. And now you can see we've got a nice looking health bar. And now, as we mentioned before, how it is gonna be working is, depending on how much health you have will depend on the size of this health bar. So if you're really low health, it's gonna be something down here. But if you're at max health, it's gonna be up over here. So now I'm gonna go and change this name to, let's call this, uh, let's call this bar frame. I'm sure something like that should be fine. But let's call this bar frame just so we can keep it organized. Then inside of our bar frame, I'm gonna click on the plus button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your bar frame, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. Alrighty, so we'll go and leave the script here for now. There is one last thing we want to go and add. You don't necessarily have to add it, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be adding it. And this is a percentage bar. Now, basically how this is going to work is it's going to be a text label inside of our, if I'm correct, our main background frame, yes. Our main background frame is gonna be holding a text label and that is gonna be on top here. And this is basically gonna be displaying the percentage or the amount of health you currently have. You can either have it displayed as a percentage or just a simple digit. It's completely up to you. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly go and adjust our text label here. You don't have to add this, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna be adding it into our health bar here just to kind of give you a little bit of variation on what you go and actually add. But you can go and adjust it how you want. But we've got our main text label there now. Uh, we want to go and change the t uh, the name of our text label. You can leave the text to label. I'm going to go and change the name of our text label to custom text because this is going to be our custom text that you're able to adjust inside of the script. Anyway, you go and add it just like that. And then we're going to head back over to our local script. 
All right, we are now back inside of the script. I'm gonna quickly go over the script here so you can kind of get a little bit of a better understanding of what is actually going on. And then I'm also gonna go over on how you can go and change and adjust our text label that we just went and implemented there and how to adjust it to your preference. Anyway, local player equals game.players.localplayer. So we go to the game, we go to the players inside of the game, and then we go to our local player simply because it's a local script. It is a, it's like a, it's like a client side, I guess you could say. It's only gonna be affecting our local client, our client that we're currently working on, where if we had to use a, uh, for example, a normal script, a service script, it's gonna be a service side situation and that's not what we want we want to identify our individual player so local player equals game.players.local player local character is just identifying our character which is located inside of our player then local humanoid equals character we go to our character here we wait for a child called humanoid and humanoid is located inside of your character and the humanoid is basically where you can adjust pretty much everything your health um, your walk speed, your jump power, etc. Your humanoid is basically what configures your whole Roblox character or your whole Roblox player. Then we've got our main health bar, and this our main health bar is script.parent, which is going to our bar frame, our green bar which we created earlier. Then it goes to local text label, script.parent.parent.custom text. So that goes to the script dot the parent dot the parent to our background frame to our custom text. Uh, text label that we created just there. So that is going to our text label. If you have your text label elsewhere, you obviously need to go and redirect it. So how it works, how we're doing it here is going script.parent.parent.customText. Script, oh sorry, uh, script.parent.parent.customText from our background frame. Then we go down here to line seven and it goes local function update health. This is basically updating our health and this is a local function which is eventually called down here. So in our local function, it goes local bar size, so we're identifying our bar size. And this basically, it configures what your current bar size is. And so it goes math.clamp humanoid.health slash humanoid.maxhealth comma zero comma one bracket, etc. And this identifies our bar size. So then here on line nine, once we've finished identifying our bar size, it goes main health bar, which is our green bar, our bar frame, which we created earlier, dot the size, so that goes to the size, and then it changes the size of our bar, and that is changing the size of our, um, our main green area. It's changing the size of this green part right here, depending on what our current health is. Then it goes to our text label. Now this is where we are adjusting our text label. This is not necessary. This is only if you've wanted to implement this text label right here into your uh, your health bar here. So if you don't want that, you, all you do is you simply delete that right there and close it just like that. And then good as gold. And now you can go and play and obviously just don't add the custom text. But let's say you're wanting your custom text with the percentage or a digit, whatever then you keep this line right here, text label dot text equals health. So I'm gonna come back to the text label health because I feel it would be a good idea to show you a bit of a demonstration on what our text label is basically currently demonstrating on default, and then you can kind of adjust it from there. So we'll come back to the text label line here shortly. Then it basically ends and then it updates the health, so that is when it's called. Then basically once the update health has been called, it then goes humanoid, get property change signal, health, connect update health, so that's updating our health and then humanoid get property change signal max health and that updates our health and these are basically just like the final configurations of the health and the max health when you're actually updating or when your health is actually updating so now we need to go and add a way for our players to actually get damage obviously you may already have this set up but for me i don't have anything set up so i'm just going to insert my little kill brick here which basically damages a player very a, on a very low amount so that they don't get instantly killed so they only lose two health each time a humanoid is detected anyway this is my bit of a kill brick here and we're going to go and when a player runs on this then they're going to lose health which will then display here um, but anyway let's go test it out so you can kind of see on how this percentage text label works alrighty so we're now in the base plate you can see my text label here says health 100% so my health is currently 100% but now let's say I went and got hurt by this block over here I go run on the block you're able to see I lost a significant amount of health so you're able to see if I go hurt my character here now by standing on the brick over here you're able to see the green bar lowers a, a significant amount simply because my health is so low and you can see our text label which we were demonstrating here is our health 
set, uh, uh, colon and then the percentage of what our current health is. Now you can go and adjust that to how you would like. On default I've just gone and set it like that because some people may like it like that but let's say you wanted to go and adjust it so that there is no health there and it just says a percentage of what your current health is. So if you want to remove the health and the colon there that is before the percentage, what you want to do, you want to head over here just next to the toe string, the math.floor, and you want to delete everything other than that. So it should look like that. So it should go text label.text is then percent uh, displays your percentage. Now, if you didn't want the percentage, you remove that right here exactly like that. And then you can delete it if you really wanted to, but you can always add it back if you really wanted to just like that. But for this tutorial, we're going to keep the percentage on just like that. Now, if we go test it out, you're able to see that we now only have the percentage, no other text is there. And when we go lose health, you're able to see the percentage decreases and then it regens automatically. But now all we have is just the percentage. So now let's say you just wanted the digit without any percentage, which basically displays how much um, health a player actually has and you didn't want the percentage all you do is you go and remove the um, Quotation marks and you remove the dots and your code should look just like that Then when if we go click on play you're able to see that now it is just the digit and we when the player goes and Accidentally hurts themselves or the player gets attacked or whatever and loses damage It is now just the digit that is showing but now let's say you wanted to go and change the main text that was displayed on the um, the actual, how do I say this? On the main, let me quickly get the uh, previous code back here so we can do a good demonstration here, what I mean. Um, let's say we were wanting to go and adjust the actual text that is here by the health. All you do is you just change the, um, the text that is inside between the quotation marks. So you could change this to fish, co um, uh, colon, and then you've got your percentage, etc., etc. You can change it to what you would like. Um, but in, in between these um, quotation marks is where you go and put your text. So for example, I just put that random bit of text there. I go cl click on play. You're able to see now I've got 100% and that basically displays on what my current um, health is. If you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing some assistance, please feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we can happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.